Well, hello there, everyone. My name is Tirza Ekholm. Tirza Ekholm, if we don't know each other already. And welcome to my first ever um, live broadcast using StreamYard. And uh, just bear with me. So a friend of mine um, uh, uh, last week uh, posted in a, in a private business group that I'm, uh, I'm in a challenge that um, we broadcast a video every day. So I decided I would take him up on it. He doesn't know it yet. So I got to go back and reply to that note. Um, and so as long as I was at it, I thought I would go ahead and learn how to use StreamYard. So this is actually my first ever StreamYard broadcast. One of the things that I wanted to do was to be able to show up on camera with you uh, as well as be working on things in my studio. So I, I have also sort of a, um, a secondary agenda, which is to also work on something every day in my studio. So I thought, well, why not combine the two? So let's learn how to use uh, StreamYard and see how this works. So yes, I have another camera here off to the side, focused just on my hands. And uh, later on, I'm going to go look on Facebook and see how this really turned out. So thank you once again for joining me. I'm so thrilled that you're here. Um, uh, well, to be honest, today I'm actually not going to do anything very exciting. <laughs> um, what I have is I have this piece of art that's, um, well, it's kind of done on, on a crappy piece of board. Um, but what I wanted to do today is I'm going to color it black. I'm just going to paint it over black and I'll tell you where I'm going so you can um, follow along with me and on and, and my daily progress of this particular piece of art. And the reason I'm going to paint it black, just paint it black is because uh, also the same friend who challenged me to do these daily uh, uh, videos um, had encouraged me to buy some uh, paints that glow in the dark from this company, particular company. So after I painted this black and it dries, I'm going to come back and go over with some these glow in the dark uh, powders. And I've got all kinds of colors to play with because naturally I bought the sampler pack. Um, and no, I can't just leave it just kind of um, with just paints and just glow in the dark things. So of course I've got these uh, beautiful um, uh, scrap silk fibers that I'm going to be incorporating into the whole thing as well. And where is this going? I have no idea, but I'm going to have fun while I'm doing it. So I'm so glad you're joining me. Uh, part of my mission is to um, be incorporating, I'm going to call it mindful art. Um, so the idea being that um, I'm making art every day, and I'm encouraging people to do something every day with which they are mindful. And um, well, this could get to be a mess, That's which is great. This is fun. Um, um, and just enjoy doing something different in my case, of course, is making art. But the thing is, and I'm launching a whole series of classes. There's going to be one a month. Um, it's called my uh, wacky watercolors. And uh, this is not the sort of thing I'll necessarily be doing in that class. But I will be teaching different techniques about how to create fun art that you can then also uh, turn into uh, things like wearable art uh, and gifts, greeting cards and all kinds of fun stuff. Um, so just wanted to uh, mention that, that if you want to know more about that, just go over to my uh, website and sign up for my newsletter at Wacky Waters Dollar. Let's start over with that. WackyWaterColors.com. Um, and uh, you'll be on my news list and you'll find out when my next classes are and that kind of thing. So in the meantime, hey, Jen Draper, it's so good to see you. One of the really cool features about this stream art is I get to see the comments just as they pop up. So this is really fun. Um, um, the other thing I wanted to mention um, is that this weekend, there is this fabulous uh, two-day seminar um, about learning how to network really, really effectively for your business. Um, I've taken it um, in person, actually, from the uh, from the uh, creator and, and the person who's going to be presenting, Casey Eberhardt. But this time, it's surely online, which, of course, I've done, too. Um, <laughs> thanks, Jen. <laughs> Jen posted, I'd rather watch artists at work than the news. <laughs> Boy, am I in super agreement with that. Uh, in any case, this, this class called Networking Riches, uh, presented by Casey Eberhardt, is happening this weekend. And um, um, because it's all online and we don't have to do a physical location and get a hotel and stuff like that, um, he's actually 
uh, offering it for a completely free. Um, and if you'd like to know a little bit more that, about that, just post something, a, a comment or something, and I'll be glad to share the link with you um, privately. But that's where I'm going to be this weekend, although I'm going to stick to my commitment, and I am going to do some kind of art uh, every single day, even on that day, just probably not during the same time that he'll be broadcasting. Um, <laughs> or, of course, that could be kind of fun, but probably not what he's looking for. So this kind of board, which I kind of call a junk board, um, naturally, I've maintained the the uh, texture of it. And um, we're going to see where that's going to where I'm going to go with that. So oh, paper towels, paper towels are just wonderful things to have. So um, yeah, I'm also kind of um, dressed up nice with a with an apron over because this afternoon um, I have the honor of being interviewed by Sherry Toff Toftal on her um, um, podcast. And so um, I don't know if it'll show up on Facebook this afternoon, but be looking for that just in case. And um, here, now that I've got this taken care of. I'm just going to go ahead and play with some of these fibers. So I hope everybody had a fabulous weekend. I'm just peeking out my my studio window right now and I see that we have snowflakes coming down. So um, yeah, that makes me happy. I, I really do like snow. I just... Uh, now, I should add to that that part of the reason I like snow is that uh, <laughs> I don't have to go out and shovel it and I can watch it from inside my nice warm house. But it's just so pretty to see the flakes coming down, and so these um, these fibers, by the way, they're they're um, these are like uh, these are recycled uh, sorry silk fibers, which doesn't mean that these were previously worn. It means that these are um, these are the bits and pieces, so to speak, that didn't get used in the um, in the production of of the silk things that they make, and so. Um, then they they package them up and make them available to artists like me who go oh look at all these cool colors and I wonder what I can do with them and it doesn't matter because I just find something fun to do with them. Um, so anyway, just thought I'd share that with you. I'm gonna unravel some of this and put some of these fibers onto this board. What I'll probably end up doing is kind of gluing them on, um, and then um, some of them. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make them I'm gonna make them wet, <clears throat> and then. Um, maybe not saturated, but coated them a little bit with some of these glow-in-the-dark powders, and we're going to see what comes out of that. And uh, when that happens, I hope <laughs> I'll be able to turn the lights off um, in my studio and let you see them glow in the dark. I mean, that's kind of what I'm planning to do. So, hey, nice to see you, Kara, and thank you for the nice comment. And, um, yeah, you know, this stream yard is actually, um, this is actually pretty fun. It was really super easy to set up, and uh, I've, I've been using Zoom, uh, but like I said, one of my goals was to be able to um, do kind of a split screen thing, uh, and the reason, of course, for that is that when I be, I'm going to be teaching my classes, um, uh, well, the classes will still be Zoom, but it's the same idea. I've got on in my classes, I have me on one side of the screen and my hands doing their thing on the other on the other side of the screen so you can see what it is that I'm doing or attempting to accomplish and one of the things that I'm going to need to do is cut these threads otherwise I'm not going to have enough to play with so um yeah of course I like lots of bright beautiful colors I'm also wanting to share that um this just like the original board that I had done in the first place, this may not turn out to be a, be a beautiful piece of art, but you never know. It might be. And the whole idea is just to play and have fun with it. So right now I'm, I'm really at the moment just kind of um, playing with the threads and figuring out how I might make them play together, how I might lay them out. Um, and then tomorrow, when, when I get back on camera tomorrow, um, like I said, I'm going to soak some of these or at least coat them with the powder uh, and then just glue them directly on the board. And we're going to see where we go with that. So these fabrics are just beautiful. Um, I've got some that are probably a little bit more, maybe not quite as so many with so many different colors. Uh, nevertheless, 
I wish you could see them better on the camera, but they're just they're just gorgeous. And of course, they're all um, what's the word fringy, and it makes for some really wonderful, beautiful textures. And um, I'm going to I'm I'm going to be looking forward to being to sharing with you how this actually all turns out. Right now, it's going to be kind of a little glob, um, and that's okay. You know, we've come out of I hope, or we hope we're coming out of what we've had a really messy 2020. And uh, maybe this is kind of like that, but sometimes there can be great beauty in coming out of something that was just apparently really messy. So I'm going to leave this just the way that it is for right now. Once again, thank you so much for joining me. I will be back on tomorrow, maybe a little bit earlier than this broadcast. Uh, but my goal, my goal now is to present something every single day. It doesn't have to be the best content in the world. It might even turn out to be crappy art, but you get me. Um, and hopefully we get to have some fun together. So again, my name is Terza Ekholm. Um, if you're into business or the business of art, and you'd like to learn a little bit more about networking and promoting your business through networking, you really want to check out Networking Riches this weekend. Drop a line, drop me a line, and I'll share with you more about it with you. Uh, once again, have a fabulous day and go share your fun and joy with someone else today. See you later.